hi hi and welcome to another session with accelerate so today on excel with accelerate we are going to be looking at part two of what we looked at last week so last week we looked at pivot tables and how to build that okay so now um we're going to be looking at how to put what where so how do you know what to put in filters how do you know what to put in columns and rows and values okay so we will now look at this um data set that we used last week to see how would build um a proper pivot table so if we go to insert as we did the last time to get to um the pivot table okay we have here sales table which is the you know the table that or the range um that we want to get our data from or want to build our pivot table from okay um we also want to put it in a new worksheet we can put it in this particular um table because i mean it's so congested and it doesn't make sense to have it in uh this existing worksheet then we'll just check this to add it to the data model and we'll say okay All right um so why this tries to load um we we can see here so imagine you can change uh, you can change the name of this um pivot table to say country by okay by gender okay so you can see here it's changed already to country by gender so this table is going to show you country and the genders how they bought okay so um we're going to be looking at the revenue for gender the different genders and um, how they fed in countries okay so now <clears throat> once you click excuse me please once you click um the revenue bit it takes you down to here values see that this sign is the summation sign right and which is why you have some of revenue so it gives you the total sum of the revenue so if you come here now this will be the total of the entire revenue that we have on that particular data table okay um now we could um so we want to do country by gender so if we pick country i will pick gender you see how everything automatically goes to rows right however what you want to look at is different i mean what if i want to look at my genders on my right hand side and i don't want to look at them on the left hand side underneath the countries what do i do okay i will just have to pick my gender and drag it up here sorry up to columns okay then i see it on my right hand side with a proper breakdown and giving me a total as well here okay but what if i want to see my gender on my left hand side and see my, the countries on the right hand side on the columns okay i would pick the country put it on columns then pick the gender bring it on rows and see it ticks it makes it um come to the right hand side and gives me the breakdown by gender also what if you want to do um what if i want to see country by gender as well you know and i want to i don't want to see um the male and female at once i just want to see male and i want to see female so i can take my gender to my filters okay i mean filter is where you can pick out whatever um option that you want to pick out okay and i take my country back to my roles because i mean it makes only it only makes sense that i do that then i go here which is um customer gender okay and i try to because currently it's giving me everything that's why you have all and i want to pick out um 
if you oh sorry please if you click this this plus sign it takes you to any of this so if there's anything beneath female and you click this plus sign by the left hand side of f it will show you those options but here we do not have that so you just click on f okay which indicates female and it shows you the sum revenue from females in these different um, countries also you can do the same thing for male okay and it gives you this and you can also do for multiple um items imagine you have way more than this and you can just pick male you can pick female or whatever it is and if you say okay it gives you the total remember this is the grand total we got initially when we started okay now that we've looked at this we can decide to um possibly add a year okay now for this year what if i want my year to also be on the right hand side because i mean it gives me a clear view of what each year is so if i click year naturally where does it take me to because year is a number it takes me immediately to values okay but also because we know that we don't need the year to come in as you know as a value we need it to come in as an element of this pivot table just the way you have like your australia canada and all that so we pick the sum of year here instead of putting a sum of year we put it on columns so as soon as we move it to columns you see that it doesn't sum it anymore it just has um year alone and you can see that this has broken down my elements um into different years sorry the diff the country's revenue into different years you can as well rejig this to how you want it to be okay um, i mean it just makes sense if you want to put currency Oh, sorry, this is my narrator. It doesn't make sense. But I mean, let's, uh, I probably we can have that, okay? Just for a bit of context. Um, yeah, and we have this. So now we're formatted it to look this way. So as I mean that these people bought in Nara, this is what it comes to, okay? I hope you've been able to learn something from these guys. Um, please follow us on all our social media platforms um subscribe to this youtube channel so that you get more videos on how to use excel okay um also follow us on on twitter we have tips and tricks every week or sometimes every other day and just how to you know how you can use excel the best ways you can use um excel okay be good please take care of yourselves wash your hands regularly stay away from public gatherings and social gatherings and uh, over overall just ensure that social distancing is your thing now okay and do have a wonderful 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 weekend ahead cheers and bye